Hi guys, so it's been a while since I last talked to a camera like this. So for the past few months I've been here and there, like traveling a little bit. So I've been doing vlogs a lot and I didn't really like to look in the camera and like talk to you guys like this. But recently I have run into some problems and luckily I've solved it and it's money problems. So I thought it would be interesting to talk about um, the solutions because maybe some of you will travel and this could be helpful for you too. So I thought I'll start with talking about my problem, like what happened to me in the first place. So when I came to Colombia in June, my credit card actually got blocked the second I tried to order a DD. So using my application at the airport. So I had no idea and luckily I had cash on me. So I was able to come to the city from the airport. I thought that was just a problem with DD. And I came to Colombia, I came to Medellin, I started using my credit card and it didn't work. And I thought, shit, like, you know, I use my credit card to take out cash usually. And so I called them and then they said, yeah, there was like suspicious um, activities on your card. So we just have to verify it and we can unblock it. So I thought, no problem, great. So I think they unblocked my card within the same day. So it was fine. And then fast forward to like two months later, the same thing happened. I thought that it happened once. I already knew that I was in Colombia and it was no problem. But when I went to use this credit card to take out cash at the ATM, for some reason, this ATM was asking me for four digits passcode. And my problem was that my passcode was actually six digits. So basically, I tried three times. Funny thing is like, you know, you always try a few times with like online stuff and then you're so used to them giving you more opportunities. But credit card is another issue. Like they are not very forgiving. Like, and, um, so anyway, long story short, they blocked my ATM access to my card. And so like, I called them, I called them, and then they said no, like... It's they actually at some point someone told me to go back to Hong Kong to fix a problem, and I started crying on the phone like, do you know, do you have any idea how far I am right now? Like, this is really like insensitive, um, but the tears didn't work. Mm, and um, so long story short, this video I would like to talk about how you can take out cash in a foreign country without using a card. Obviously, like, it's a good idea to have, like, multiple ways to do that because if one ga one card gets blocked, then you have another card or something like that. So let's get into it. All right, like, the first two methods are, like, kind of traditional. So the first one that I mentioned was, like, credit card, but my credit card is linked to the bank account. So it takes money out of my bank account without, like, charging a lot of fees. Um, some ATMs do take a fee or your own bank also maybe takes a fee. So you really, really need to check it before you go away. You know, when you get there, it'll, at the ATM, it will tell you how much that specific local bank will charge you. I've been using this method forever and I hadn't run into problems for like, I mean, over two years. So it's quite reliable and it's easy. Um, another thing uh, with the credit card is that you can do advance. So instead of like getting the money from your bank account, it's like it's kind of advanced, like a like a loan or something. So obviously there's like fee um, to it, but it's kind of like you know spending on your credit card. And I mean when you're desperate, when you have money, like that's great. And the other traditional methods, like to have a debit card. Nowadays, there are lots of different virtual cards or just travel cards, like debit card. And it works the same, you know, you're at an ATM. And the difference is that obviously you only have like a limited amount of money on your card. Then if it gets stolen, then you don't really, they can't really spend so much. Although I think most of the time, if your credit card gets stolen, the bank, you well, your bank will pay for you. So, I mean, they will cover it. So 
And then whereas like debit card, you just lost your money, I think. That's the two traditional ways of taking money from the ATM. But we're not here for that, are we? So the third method is a little bit unusual. Um, it's actually kind of funny. So we have a food delivery application called Rappi here in South America. I think it's available in like Mexico, Colombia, Peru. I'm not sure about Ecuador and other countries. But it's like so popular that, you know, Rappi becomes a verb. Like, let me wrap you that. So it gives you a bunch of services, not just like food delivery. So you can even get someone to help you shop at the supermarket or any shops really. Like I've done like Decathlon um, when I'm too lazy to go to the shops, uh, pharmacy as well. You can also send something, you know, use a surface to send something from your house to a friend's house or something like that. This service that I'm going to talk about today is Rappi Cash. It's not really the name. It's like Cajero, Alos, like ATM. It's pretty straightforward. You have your card attached to this account. So you basically just use your card um, and ask someone to take cash out for you. The downside is really just that it's more expensive. It's like 5% or something. But it's really cool that you can really just get money out um, from your credit card, or debit card within one hour. Obviously, if my card works, I would just go to the ATM and take out cash, right? But because I have not I have a debit card, that doesn't have a physical card because I lost it, but it's it's just virtual. So I use my virtual card um, that's attached to this account, and basically I was so desperate, so the money came within an hour. And it works like magic. You literally just wait for an hour or like 30 minutes. This guy comes on a motor motorcycle, rings your bell, you open your door, there you go, your money. Boom, like easy as. There is, of course, the limit to it. I think the maximum you can take out is 400 me, which is like around $100. I mean, if you're desperate, I think it's really helpful. In my case, I was desperate and it works great. Um, I had to pay a little bit more, but without any hustle, I was able to, you know, receive the cash and I didn't have to leave my home. And I love that. I wish that... Um, Rappi would give me some commission for talking about this, but fortunately not yet. So with open your Appy Appy Rappi app and do this Cajero ATM and then four hundred, so let's say so it does say that you know like you're like five percent additional. Let's say I have that money on my card. Because they know I don't. Um, these are all the options that you can choose from. And then you pick one. Basically, that's how you do it. Easy peasy. And so here comes uh, another method, the fourth method, which is called like World Remit. It works kind of like Western Union where you can kind of send money to yourself and then you go pick it up at a cash point or you go pick it up at a bank. So this is the best for me while I don't have a card because the limit is quite huge. So what I did was quite simple. I went on the website. All right, so what you do is really to put in, you know, choose the currency you want to get. So let's say like Colombian pesos, I want to get um, like 400 mil and it's around like $827. And let's say like I want to get a cash pickup um, at a bank. Let's see. So cash pickup, Bank Colombia, they said that you can get it at like supermarkets too, but um, I heard that you need to have a local ID to do that. So I didn't want to try, you know, I'm not so adventurous about that. So I click Bank Colombia, which is like the biggest bank here in Colombia. You can't tell with the name. Um, so the fee is about $39, Hong Kong dollars, which is like a bit less than five US dollars. Transfer time within minutes. So that's including the fee. Continue. So by the way, that's about like hundred US dollars. 
So I have done it, like I've sent it to a few people, like they're my landlords, um, and I've done it like saying to myself, um, put your names and address, number, etc. Continue sending funds to myself. Next. So you enter your information about your credit card or cyber card, and that's it. I'm not going to actually do it because I don't need money right now. But basically, when it will tell you um, a number, and you go to the bank, and you, tell, you show them your number, and then they know what to do. So yeah, that's the well remit option. One thing to notice is that um, when I went to the bank and I realized I put my name wrong, I think um, the order was wrong. So I have like a Chinese name and English name officially, but I think I put my English name first. And even though it's like the same words and same names, they were like, no, we got to change it. So I had to come home and then I had to call the um, institute, I had to call well, Remit, and that I have to change the name of the recipient. Um, I think I lost like one hour with that, like, and I went back to the bank and everything was good. So, um, for the next time, I know it's really easy, hassle free. So that's a good way to take out cash for me. And I just kind of just, you know, took a bunch and then just put it at home, put it in a safe place, and then I just use it. Um, so I don't really have to worry about like bringing my card or losing my card or anything. Um, I just bring cash out. Now um, I'll introduce another financial institute, which is similar to what we meet, but it's called WISE. So WISE doesn't allow you to pick up cash at the bank or anywhere else, but you can just transfer money internationally. So I use this a lot to pay rent because the rates are actually better than Robotmit. It used to be called TransferWISE and now it's just WISE because we're WISE now. It's 2021, guys. Just kidding. Um, so this is my landlord and I've I've uh paid him several times and I've done it in Peru. I've done it like yeah, to multiple people. So how it works is that you gotta send money and it's almost the same as like the other one. Hundred Okay, and then the fee is a bit less, you can tell. And who are you sending to? Like, let's, let's say it's like my landlord. So basically, it's got like all his information. Um, you know, like his information, and then confirm and continue. Basically, it will just ask you to pay. Um, you do a bank transfer or you do like a debit card, or credit card, um, payment. So it's pretty straightforward. Um similar to the other one but it's it doesn't allow you to do cash pickup so what you can only do if you want cash you don't want to pay that person you ask for a friend and you send it to their account and then you know ask them to take out cash um to me um i would rather just like pay a little bit more and do it myself so i don't have to bother the people and you never know like who you can trust right you kind of send money within seconds oh no minutes like seconds to exaggerate it but minutes so i pay my landlord using this and they think it's like oh my god it's magic you know you don't have to go and get cash and then like count the cash and then give them the cash and you know like all that it's you know we live in the 21st century so yeah it's it's great obviously you have also western union which i haven't used before because i think the rates are a bit higher compared to the other options and I hope that was useful for you because you know like when you're traveling accidents can happen you can get robbed you can forget a card in the ATM so it's good to know about other options um to not get too scared when you lose your only card or something so um, that's a little bit different from my usual videos it's actually useful I think it's not easy to to be living in a foreign country oh you I think maybe people have suggested to me to open a bank account locally. I wouldn't do that because I don't live in the same place for a long time and it's not really an option for me. 
But yeah, if I have so many other ways, why would I need a bank account? Why would I have to be tied down to, you know, one local account? Yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll try to help. Um, until next time, bye.